Dear friends, namaste, and that's Ramnik Wig right in front of you. And friends, here I shall be telling you about diet, diet for good health. Now, it's very important for us to have a great diet if we want to be healthy. There are several important foodstuffs which we must add on to our diet if we want to be healthy. Now here I'll be talking to you about some of the very important ones where according to me we must really add on to our diet. And to start with that is cruciferous vegetables. Now cruciferous vegetables are those when you really open them, the uh, side becomes something like a cross. It becomes like a cross sign when you open that vegetable out. Now there are 10 vegetables which come under the category of cruciferous vegetables. Namely, number one, broccoli, kale, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, beet greens, turnip greens, radish greens, watercress, and mustard greens. Now, these are called the cruciferous family. Now, cruciferous vegetables are loaded with a very important group of antioxidants called as glucosinolates. Now, glucosinolates are highly anti-inflammatory, highly anti-cancerous, and very strong group of antioxidants. Now, glucosinolates are primarily two. Number one are called the sulforaphane, and number two is called as the indoles. Now, both of them come together. Whenever you're gonna find these, they're always gonna to come together. And cruciferous vegetables are a great source of these glucosinolates called as sulforaphane and indoles. Apart from these, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli are again a very source of luteolin, which is a strong antioxidant. Apart from this, quercetin, another highly anti-allergic, anti-inflammatory antioxidant, Cruciferous vegetables are a great source of quercetin. Apart from these beautiful antioxidants, what we're finding there, they're also a good source of beta carotene, which, is, which gets converted into vitamin A in our system, and vitamin C. Now, these two are also antioxidants. But that means cruciferous vegetables are chocolate full of antioxidants. And we must try to increase the intake of cruciferous vegetables in our diet. So it's very important to make it a point to have a lot of cruciferous vegetables. Number two, I would here talk about a very important one, tomatoes. Now tomatoes are the best source of lycopene in the world. Lycopene, the red, the deep red color of tomatoes, what you see, is primarily because of lycopene. Lycopene is a very strong, a highly anti-inflammatory antioxidant, and it comes under the group called as carotenoids. That is the group of antioxidants where you find lycopene. And let me tell you, friends, that tomato is the best source of lycopene in this planet Earth. So tomatoes being a great source of lycopene, they are helpful in treatment of several ailments, right from cancer, to diabetes, to kidney disorders, to liver disorders, and many others. Apart from lycopene, tomatoes are also a good source of vitamin A and vitamin C. Now again, these two are again good antioxidants. Apart from that, tomatoes are a great source of potassium. So if you are suffering from high blood pressure, hypertension, again, tomatoes could do wonders for you. So tomatoes, I would definitely recommend that you must add tomatoes to your diet. And let me tell you one thing very interesting. Lycopene is the only antioxidant which, even on heating, the potency increases but not decreases. Because generally when we talk about antioxidants, when you heat the product, the antioxidant level goes down. But here we have a product called tomato, a natural food, which when you heat it, 
you make any recipe out of it, you make the chutney out of that, you make the soup out of that, the lycopene increases. It does not decrease. So tomatoes would be another very important one that I would definitely tell you guys to add in your diet. Number three, berries. Now berries are again charcoal full of antioxidants. Let me use the word, the charcoal full. Now berries will include blueberries, blackberries, cranberries, strawberry, raspberry, acai berry, mulberry, elderberry, Indian gooseberry, goji berry, all berries now. I've named so many of them for you. And let me tell you, the deep purple color of berries are the reddish color, the deep red hue pigment, what you find in berries. For example, the mulberry has the purple color, the blueberry has the uh, purple color, the raspberry has the deep red color, the strawberry has the deep red color. Now these deep red, deep hue pigments of red or purple, what you're going to find in berries is because of very strong antioxidant called as anthocyanin. Now, anthocyanins are just great as far as antioxidants are concerned. They are highly anti-inflammatory. They help to get rid of the free radicals present in our system. They are very good for people suffering from cancer, from diabetes, from cardiovascular diseases, from hypertension, and many others. Apart from anthocyanins, berries like blackberries, raspberries, strawberries have a good amount of elagic acid present in it, and again, a strong antioxidant. Again, berries are loaded with chlorogenic acid, again, a very strong antioxidant, which comes under the phenolic acids. So berries, I would say, are charcoal full of nutrients. Berries, again, have a good amount of calcium, potassium, magnesium present in them. They have a good amount of fiber present in them. So overall, you can say berries are great for our health. So we must add berries to our diet. Number four, I'll talk about garlic over here. Now garlic, a spice, it was, uh, in earlier days, you know, when soldiers used to go from one country to the other, the Navy guys, they used to uh, be on ships for months and they used to carry loads of, uh, loads of garlic with them so that if anyone has diabetes, anyone has hypertension, anyone has uh, flu, anyone has so many problems, they used to try administering garlic to them. So garlic is loaded with organosulfur compounds called allicin, ajones, allyl sulfide, diet sulfides. And they are absolutely great for our health. They are, these compounds are very helpful in the treatment of cancer, cardiovascular diseases, hypertension, diabetes, and many other things. But the right way to consume your garlic would be something like this, that you take a mortar. Everyone has a mortar and pestle at home. Take a mortar and put about like three, four cloves of garlic into that. Small little cloves. Add about half a teaspoon of water to that. Now nicely pound it like this. Pound it nicely so that you get a thick paste out of it. Make a small irregular shape tablet out of that and keep that aside for about 8 to 10 minutes. Now until you really pound that garlic well, you're not going to create those organosulfur compounds. If you just put the garlic in the curry or in your dal, in your lentils, you're just putting it for your uh, taste purposes. You're not getting the therapeutic value out of that. So you want to get the therapeutic value out of that is, the only way is to first pound it well nicely so that it gets pounded. Only then the organosulfur compounds get created, which are the therapeutic part of garlic. Once, you, once you've made an irregular shaped uh, tablet out of that, you just keep it aside for about 10 minutes. Now why am I saying that? The reason is that it takes about 8 to 10 minutes for those compounds to get assimilated in it nicely. So once those compounds get assimilated in the garlic nicely, after that, you can have that garlic pill of yours along with your meal. Don't have it empty stomach, let me tell you that. Because if you have it, have it empty stomach, what's gonna happen is it's gonna create acidity inside you. So do not have it empty stomach, have it after a meal. 
And that would be the right way of taking your garlic medication, or I would say the garlic pill. Now, friends, here I have spoken to you about uh, four important items which you got to really add into your diet. One, cruciferous. Second, I spoke to you about berries. I also spoke to you about uh, tomato, and I spoke to you about garlic. So you must add them in your diet. Let me tell you, friend, that I myself suffered from cancer three times. Pranayama and food therapy, they really helped me in the healing process. Friends, now I take disease-specific courses, basic courses, and teacher's training courses on pranayama, food therapy, and meditation through WhatsApp video calling. And if you're interested in doing any of these courses with me, you can directly get in touch with me because all these courses are personalized. They're one-to-one. And uh, my... Uh, my center cell number and WhatsApp number is 9910178140. So if you're interested in doing any of these courses, you're most welcome to get in touch with me. And friends, you can check me out at YouTube also. I have over 1900 videos on YouTube. The YouTube address is youtube.com slash So friends, do take care of yourselves and have a great day ahead.